Hello everyone, this is Cesar and welcome back to another episode of Display Calibration. On my last video review for the TCL R625, I mentioned that I was going to show you the calibration settings for that TV. Today is that day, so stay tuned. <laughs> Let's go with the basics. I decided to go instead instead of darker to put it on dark and that way it reaches easier the, the 120 nit brightness. On picture size you can leave it on auto. On picture mode I was gonna go on normal but I decided to move it to uh, movie mode. It's a lot easier for the calibration and the TV looks basically identical but I do prefer the movie movie mode. Then when we go inside to the picture settings, I local contrast, I left it off for the calibration, but once the calibration is done, you can turn it on and it will raise the neat brightness, but it will create a uh, darker blacks. So um, I would definitely recommend it. On um, backlight, to reach that um, dark room environment, uh, movie viewing or video content viewing, you put it at 60 on um, brightness you put leave it at 50 contrast was all the way up to 100 but it was creating a type of uh, red tint on the on the white clipping so I drop it all the way to 77 and it, it basically provided more detail and and more color accuracy. On sharpness, I raise it a little bit to 24, and then on color is 45, but if you decided to do on gaming, on game mode, then you could raise it to 49, 51, so it gives a little more punchy on the colors, but it will take off the calibration a little bit, so it's up to you. On color temperature, I move it to warm, that is the most accurate one for when viewing video content. On action smoothing off, natural cinema off, and LED motion clarity, I leave it off. So this time I'm gonna do it a little different. There were some of the 10 point calibration settings that I didn't need to touch them because uh, touch them because the TV was calibrated on those on those um, points. So what I did, I I crop every every picture of it, and then I put them separately. Only the percentage, the points that needed to be calibrated. So I'm gonna be very specific. That way, all of you can actually know which percentage or point the calibration is done. And if there's no other, for for example, if I don't mention uh, let's see, if I don't mention 60% or 70% on, on, on the pictures that I'm going to show, then that means that you don't need to touch it. Everything's going to stay at zero. That's why I'm not showing them here. So let's start. So at 10%, we're going to go to negative 7, green 0, blue 0. On 30%, there's going to be red zero, green zero, blue negative three. Then we're going to go to 50% is going to be red zero, green zero, and blue negative six. Then to 80%, we're going to go to red seven, green two, blue negative seven. Then we will just go to 90%. Red is going to be zero, green zero, and negative 60 on blue. After this, we're gonna go to the color management system. Like I mentioned on the other numbers, uh, points that I don't mention here, they were all zero, so you don't need to do nothing on those. Then on yellow, we will go to yellow, Actually, let's go to red first. On red, on the color management system or the, on the red, you're gonna put on red negative 
21, green 3, 3, and blue negative 16. On green, red is going to be 0, green 0, and blue negative 2. On blue, red is going to be 0, green 8, blue negative 15. On cyan, red negative 4, green negative 11, and blue 0. On magenta, red negative 12, green 1, and blue negative 11. I'm going to go back to yellow, which it was before, and then on yellow is going to be red 13, green 9, and blue negative 1. So that's it everyone. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing, and if you'd like to see more of the same content, just hit the subscribe button. But if you have any thoughts or comments, just write them down below. This is Cesar, and I'll see you next time.